Declare three character arrays. 1. Data for storing initial data. 2. Stuff for storing the stuff data at intermediate site. 3. Desktop for storing the stuff data. Declare integer variables. I. J. C and T and LEN. Scanning data from user. We have taken integer variable len to store data array size for iteration purpose. We are using string in build function to find the string len of data. Initializing cnt equals zero which can be used to count the number of ones in data array. And j equals zero which is used to point at stuff array index. For loop is from zero to len because data array size equals len. We are using if statement to ensure that there are five ones present in data array consecutively and sixth element is also one. CNT plus plus for incrementing value of ones present in data array consecutively. In else statement we are assigning CNT equals zero. In stuffed array we have to insert previous data value. So. Stuff of J equals data of I. J plus plus is to increment pointer of stuff array to next position. Now we are using if statement. This statement is used to insert stuffing bit to stuffed array. This condition will get satisfied when CNT equals 5 and data of I plus 1 equals 1. Now we are assigning stuff bit 0 in stuffed array. So stuff of j equals 0. And j plus plus to increment pointer of stuff character array. Here we have to initialize cnt value to original value 0. Let us print and check output for stuff data. end of the stuff character array so stuff for j equals backslash zero which indicates end of stuff charator array enter data equals zero six times one zero five times one zero so here there was six contiguous ones therefore after five ones zero bit is stuffed and after that there are 5 contiguous ones but next bit is not 1 bit so we don't have to insert stuff bit at that position. These two are flag bytes. Death stuffing. Calculating length of stuff array and Intilizing CNT equals 0 and J equals 0 This for loop iterates from 0 to len Here conditions, if and else, which are same as used in, 
stuffing operation for calculating number of consecutive ones. If stuff of i equals 1 then cnt plus plus. Else cnt equals 0. Assigning stuff of i to the stuff of j. j++ is to increment pointer position. Now, in this if condition we are checking that cnt equals 5 and stuff of i plus 1 equals 0 then. Initializing CNT to its original value 0. So we have to skip next position hence we have used I++. Making end of the stuff array is null. Let us print output. Data equals zero. Eight times one zero. Five times one zero. Six times one zero. Here eight times ones are divided as five times ones. Zero. Three times ones. Five times ones remain same as it is. Six times ones are divided as five times ones zero one time ones. These two are flag bytes. Here the stuff data is same as original data, so answer is correct. This is C program for bit stuffing. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.